Hello everyone, the 316 here with another LEGO review. This time I have the LEGO Speed Champions Ford Mustang Dark Horse, set number 76920, 344 pieces. I got mine for, I think, $26.99. They, uh, I bought this at Target. I Target might have the price wrong, I don't know. This might be priced at $24.99, might be $26.99. In any case, that's around the general price point of this set. Uh, I like myself some just standard looking cars and I love me a Mustang and this set looked good so I picked it up and I'm going to review it for you today. So I want to start off with the box real quick. Nice box, just a box. Uh, there's the bottom for you, there's the top, there's the side, there's another side. It's got the official uh, licensed logo like that, like that a lot. And there's the back and a view of the actual real life car so uh, they chose dark blue I think that was a good choice when I think of Mustangs I think of blue so and uh, the big set the big Mustang that they made a few years ago which I have on display uh, I also use that color uh, let's go ahead and start with the minifigure and get myself out of the way so uh, here's our minifigure uh, she looks good she comes with a helmet gray and she comes with a wrench so that you could take off the uh, hubcaps. And that was out of focus. Why is nothing focusing? Well, that's not good. <laughs> My camera should be focusing. There we go. But uh, yeah, you can just take off the hubcap nice and easy uh, with the wrench that's included. I'll probably just stick that back in the car. Uh, a custom, or not a custom, a new print for the torso. It says Mustang Dark Horse. It is a uh, hoodie here. It's got black on its uh, arms. And uh, the back looks good too. Nice little logo there. I do like that. And uh, she comes with a newer hair piece. I don't own one of these yet. Uh, but, you know, you can you can kind of pose it like this to, you know, get it like a crazy, like hairs, you know, flying backward. Uh, but it also has an accessory hole at the top. So I uh, like new hair pieces, especially kind of weirder looking ones like this. So appreciate that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the car itself. Uh, the build techniques in this were uh, enjoyable. I liked some of them. or I liked them all. But uh, here's a good side view. I do wish that they could uh, make these so that the doors open. Uh, these are both stickers. So this is like the, the Dark Horse logo, and that's just a, um, uh, you know, the door handle proper, right? Uh, the uh, hubcaps are in dark gray, metallic, gunmetal, like that. It's good. Uh, the back here, I like how they did the headlights. They actually used two of these printed 1x6s, and uh, that just gives the effect of the headlight being like that. Although I do feel like it's just a touch too high. It does look good. Uh, down here you got the exhaust, the quad exhaust. I like that. And it is on these uh, newer curved pieces as well. Uh, I like that piece. I'd like to see more of it in sets. It's very useful. Very useful. Good for mocks. Uh, bottom, you know, pretty nondescript. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. Nothing that I would notice uh, that's kind of weird. Looks fine to me. Uh, you know, it's got the side mirrors, which is just a... Uh, one of the new corner pieces, or newer rather. And uh, up front here, you have the front, as you should, right? <laughs> but these uh, headlights are actually these curved one by two pieces, which are uh, newer. I don't think they came out this year, but last year, not sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is a sticker here. It's an inverted one by three. There is a hole in the middle, but the sticker covers it up. So uh, printing, you actually have these two uh, two by twos here. Those are printed, but uh, these uh, slopes are not, as well as these uh, two one by twos. Those are uh, stickers as well. So the only prints here are those two and uh, those two. Still, nice to get exclusive prints. And I could see them reusing those prints on the front one. Inside of the car, it's good. I like that the interiors are neatly detailed, and uh, you can see it has some. Uh, like a touch screen in there. It says Mustang Dark Horse. Don't know why that's there. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know. Uh, uses the microphone for this, uh, the, the, the stick. <laughs> the stick. I should not be filming this this late at night, but <laughs> oh well. 
Uh, she fits in there just fine. Uh, but if you want this to go down all the way, have her all the way back. Because, you know, there's very little clearance in these sets for the figures themselves. That's why the helmet's included. Because uh, a lot of hair pieces just don't work. Anyway, that's the Mustang Dark Horse here. And uh, I forgot to say this, but this is the birthday video special. So this will be up on the 16th. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what other LEGO sets you want to see me review. There's all the extra pieces for you. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It all helps out the channel. And as always, peace.